I'm delighted to be sitting here in the House of Commons with this portrait of my father, Tony Benn, with the artist Andrew Tift. Now, this was commissioned by the Works of Art Committee of the House of Commons 15 years ago, and it hangs in Portcullis House. Now, Andrew, what are your memories of the first city? Well, it was a long time ago, I know, 15, 16 years ago. Um, uh, it was uh, at the time Sir Patrick Cormack who um, initiated the project, and uh, I had a call from Malcolm Hay, the curator here, and uh, he said it was uh, going to be Tony Venn, and we were all delighted because I was still living at home then with my mum and dad. Um, and, and they were delighted because they were lifelong socialists themselves, and uh, they thought it was a great, great thing. So I'd, I'd been working professionally probably for about uh, four years, uh, three years probably, and uh, I was quite nervous. And then uh, we shook hands, and then uh, we, we went through to the room in the front where this uh, this picture is set, still in the basement, but uh, in the front there. So we just sat down and started talk, talking about the, the painting and the composition and what we thought might go into it. And I, I took my, my portfolio with me because at this point you didn't uh, know who I was or what, what work I did. And I'd done a lot of stuff. When I did my MA, I did a lot of painting in the uh, black country steel industry. And it was about the deindustrialisation of the West Midlands steel industry. And I, I showed you uh, the paintings that I'd done. And um, I think we kind of hit it off from there because um, it was sort of similar territory. I was looking around and I saw straight ahead, the, the, the lighting was really good. It was a fluorescent beam. Uh, on, the, on the roof, and it's, it was a nice soft light. And uh, I was looking at the shelf, and I thought that looks, uh, that looks an interesting uh, background to put some props on. I mean, at this point, I hadn't, I hadn't really thought I was going to put loads of props in it or anything. Um, I was just coming down to see what it was like. So we had a chat about the picture, and then we walked upstairs, then we went upstairs, and we were looking for little objects that we could put in. Then we went into another room, and there was uh, lots of plates there, commemorative. Uh, political plates, which, which were quite good, so we bought some of those there. And of course the chair was upstairs as well, and I thought that would look really good. Of course, I, I'm always interested in, in chairs uh, and sitters, and the relationship between chairs and sitters. Of course, we call, call people sitters, you see, so. Came back for an, a further, I think it was a further two sittings that we had, and they were, they were photographic sittings. And then, then I started the, the painting afterwards. Now, Dad, what do you recall about the first time you met Andrew? Well, I remember getting an invitation to have the portrait painted, but it was a bit embarrassing because I was, I'd been in Parliament 40, 50 years by then, but still, even so, to be in, painted in Parliament. And then I heard that Andrew was a very talented artist, and I heard this from another MP who, was a, who knew him anyway l later, and, and uh, he arrived, and exactly as he said, we wandered round. And he made the very important point. He said, if we paint the picture, the things in the picture ought to be associated with your life in some way. So that's how all these objects came to be picked. There's a, a picture in the top left uh, of the family, and you're in the right of that at the front, wearing the wrong uh, uh, colours. <laughs> and then in the middle is, is uh, a painting sent to me by constituent a, a primary school in 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 in, uh, in Bristol, and then there's something that was prepared for me when I left Bristol in 1953, I think. It must have been earlier than that. And then on the shelf below, there's a miner, and a, and then a miner's lamp, and then some of the books that I wrote, and then uh, don't. Uh, Try what was it? It says, "Please don't knock." Please don't knock. We're, we are busy. We're all work for backing Ben. That was my dad's election yeah, yeah. Uh, poster in 1910 in the a, election. A, a liberal, wasn't he? Uh, he was a, li a liberal at that time. Mm. He was, yes, indeed. And then there's a picture of Caroline, and then there's the Transport and General Workers Union badge. Then there's uh, Karl Marx. I thought he should be. <laughs> in the picture, and it would do the House of Commons good to have him there. And in front of that are my RAF wings, and then a big plate for the minor strike, and then Keir Hardy. And I was sitting in Keir Hardy's chair, which a man in Wales sent me, or told me he would be happy to give me, so I went there and collected it. And then in the front there's a, a, a briefcase I had, first North Sea Oil, 
the blood that threw me out of the House of Commons on the grounds it was blue and I was disqualified, a Mars bar, uh, a red box, and then the other side the a gramophone and a couple of pipes and a tape recorder. And uh, then the, th the thing that I noticed afterwards, that when you look at the shoelaces, one of them are, are round shoelaces and the others are flat. So that he picked up that my shoelaces were not a perfect pair. <laughs> and I don't think any Doc Martins have ever had such wonderful treatment as those have. <laughs> Andrew, the, as you described the process of that first visit, did you arrive with a, a view about what the, what the composition might look like? It was just a case of uh, responding to, to what we saw, really, and just... It was, it, it was almost like I wanted, wanted it to be a sort of a narrative portrait, so that, yes. um, it's, so that people could read into it and look at things and they reflect and reinforce your identity. Um, a little bit, I think it's a little bit like the, the uh, Holbein painting in the National Gallery of the Ambassadors. It's that kind of idea where, you, where you've got all the objects uh, and the way that they reflect and reinforce the city's identity. I see you even got the fact that one of my buttons and my yeah, and the sweater button. was broken. <laughs> That's half a button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was, that was your motto as well, wasn't it? Dare, dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone. Oh, dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand yeah. alone. Where's that? That's on the picture. Yeah, it's D on the picture. Dare, the dare to have a purpose, dare to make it known. Is that dare how to it have continues? a purpose, dare to make, make it, it known. known. That's yeah. right. You know, the RAF uh, wings, were they your brothers or were they, were they yours? Which? The, the RAF wings. Oh, they the... were my actual wings. Oh, they were yours? Yes. Oh, right. I, was, I, mean, I took them off my uniform ah, and right. I, I had it separate there. Was, mm. That was the day, I think, until getting into Parliament, probably, I was most proud of, was uh, going there in 1945 and getting my wings. Now, Dad, this picture was done 15 years ago. If it was being painted today, are there any objects that you'd want to have in the picture? Well, it's a very good question, Nad. I thought a lot about the ones that are there now. I think the diaries will probably be there, because there are now ten, as the last volume is coming out here in the summer of 2013. So I suppose you might have the diaries in. Uh, I've got more grandchildren, so I'd have to have pictures of them and some of them with their wives and uh, 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 as well. Well, Andrew, um, looking at this picture now, 15 years on, is there anything that you might change? I sort of put your full address on the bottom there, but uh, your address was there. And I remember my dad says, well, you want to, you want to wash that out because they uh, they'll never be able to put it up <laughs> anyway because people will be writing to town all the time. And the fact that it was a William Morris lamp as well because the link with socialism. And the fact that the door's slightly open as well uh, has always intrigued people. There was never any mystery behind it, but that, that was just the, the way it was when I came in. But the, the structure of the composition is an H shape. So if you, if you look at, uh, so it's kind of like a, a strong vertical and then you've got the vertical there and then the shelf is the middle section. And because that's such a strong line going across the centre, I'll put Tony's eyes right on that horizontal line. So it, it brings more focus and attention onto, uh, onto Tony's face. I've got John Wesley there, I forgot. And John the Wesley, yeah. In front of the, uh, of the banner with my name on it. That's it. And uh, Wesley and Marx have always seemed to me very symbolic figures for the history of the Labour Party. I think that's Robbie Burns as well, though, isn't it? Oh, that's Robbie Burns, yes. Yeah. And there's Marx on the extreme right, yes. As an artist, it's difficult to, to write your own work, I think, but um, it's, it's, it's definitely one of, still one of my, my, my very best ones, and, and definitely the one that's most fondly remembered, probably because I think sometimes it depends what the, who the sitter is as well. I mean, I've, I've done portraits of other people, which I think are quite successful paintings, but for whatever reason, people don't like the, the sitter, and they, they haven't been that accessible or successful to, in other people's eyes. But because Tony Benn has become such a, a you know, a, a very important national figure, I, I mean, everybody that uh, contacts, contacts me they, they, they almost gush when they say, I'll paint it Tony with them. They go, oh, that must be brilliant. <laughs> so it's, I think a lot of it is then, it's not just me, it's, it's, it's who Tony is, I think. But certainly, it's, it's, certainly it's, it's the most, um, the, the one that I get asked most about uh, is, is this, this painting. Is your... 
And, and what do you think about it, Dad, as you look at it now, close up? Well, I'm there? very fond of it, and, and I've got copies of it at home, pictures on the wall okay. of, of it, photographs of it. And of course, I've seen it here many times. And where it's going to be here always interests me because as I was opposite Mrs. Thatcher, then I was moved around the corner and reorganised. And then I think, <laughs> but then a lot of people saw it and liked it and used to comment to, on this other. I've seen your picture at the House of Commons. So I have a great feeling of affection for it. Can I say, as the, as the son of the subject, I think it's absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Because <laughs> uh, as I said to you earlier, it's like. I, it's like looking back at uh, lots of parts of my life. Well, Dad, Andrew, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you, you and thank you. Oh, thank it's you. A brilliant piece of work. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant.